high. So after recruitment, you have, uh, I suppose, a big amount of students in your course. You can have different types of students. For example, the ones that they really want to perform your, uh, your MOOC, that they are really interested. Another type of students are the ones that are not sure about the subjects, so they just enter and are expecting what will go on. And the third type will be the ones that just click on the course and they are in. So uh, the course starts and after first week you can arrive a maximum of people just performing uh, the MOOC, but when you ask them to perform the first assessment, you have a problem. They start the dropping out of students. So, Mikel, how can we do just to maintain <coughs> our students in our MOOC? Well, first of all, I think that you're right in the sense that before starting the course, you have a large number of students. But after the first week, usually, the number of students registered keeps increasing. So, in phase zero, that's just recruitment, you get the number and number of students. In the first week, you still recruit. So you combine recruitment with the retention. Then you have a hype. People talk about the course. Usually, the first videos or the first activities are very enticing and very nice and usually simple. So people love the course. However, for the first difficulty, as you said very well, people say, oh, that's nothing. That's not for me. I don't have time. I don't have energy. So, so you have to deal with these people that might be interested in the course, but they have difficulty with time or energy or whatever. As far as students that just register for fun, Okay, you have yeah, to care for them. But, okay, you get some of them, good. But first category that you have to think about is that those that actually are willing to carry out the MOOC and complete it. Yeah. Second, those that may like the MOOC, but are not sure they are able to complete it. For the first ones, you just have to keep them slightly engaged provide nice activities and nice resources, whatever, and they will complete the course. Probably that's, I don't know, what do you think? Five or 10%, yeah, maybe less, yeah. maybe less. Yeah, five percent. But these are the, 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 I think that they are easy just to retain. The more important people just to keep on the course as the second child, the ones that they are not sure what they will find. They start, but we need to, involve them yes. in some way in the course. So we have we to convince to... them, stay here, okay? The first kind of students, between 5-8%, are the core students. That Those that we know that will complete probably. Yes. Second, from 8% to 15%, probably 20%, are those that we have to convince them to stay. The remainder, okay, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. So, Sylvia, after the hype, after the maximum, not in registered students, but in a student activity, that usually after first module, second module, okay, there is a huge dropout in all MOOCs, everywhere, yes. always the same. Yeah. So we have to do something about it yes. for each category. Yes, so we need, uh, we need to engage our students in the course. That means that to play with some gamification or maybe to give them some awards, some prizes. But what is really important is that we need to do it in a low cost, in a low cost way. So, Mikel, what do you yeah, think about what, low cost? When you say low cost, I understand what we always say in terms of money, time and energy. Yes, energy. Because you may have money but no time, okay, or you lack ideas or whatever. So we are providing you some examples and advice on how to retain, uh, keep retention at maximum, especially for the first two categories. The core students, the those that really 
are willing to complete the course, and those that like the course, but they don't know yet whether they will have time, energy, and whatever, to complete the course, okay? Yes. And also provide opportunities for the third class, that's the large amount of registered people. They just, if we get unlucky, we may get some of them.